And are you both prepared to be together? I think we can manage. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, it's your boy Harry Panero here. And it's your girl Nella Rose. And we're out here meeting black people smirking it in their lane. Because you know we do that. So Nella, of course, there's a lot of jobs in the world that we'd love to do, but acting has to be one of the greatest ones, of course. <laughs> would you ever put, like try and pursue acting? I can't act to save my life. If it was like a role that is just like my personality, how I talk, how I dress, how like Kanan, yeah. it's like, of course I'll do it. Well, we're gonna find out how great of an actor you really are. Cause today, Nella, I've only got on board Jasmine Jobson and Kadeem Ramsey. You know who they are. They're legends. Oh boy. We're legends. talking about sex education. BAFTA nominations, man. I'm really nervous. Yes, uh, we got this. Cos we do that. You're actually starting to irritate me now. Bro, so where did you put my wire? What do you mean? I mean, where you put my wire? It was plugged in there. So where is it then? I don't... How am I supposed to know that? If it was plugged in there, then it was plugged in there. It's not my fault it's not there. That's your business. Don't buy your own things, man. I'm sorry. Hi. You are right. You look good? <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, my brother. It's okay, 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 okay. okay. Yeah, nah. You know who's going to leave? <laughs> oh, oh you're show it. Oh. We can act. Oh, we know. Yeah. 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 Okay, yeah. Let's okay. go sit down and you sure everything's good, yeah? No, we're blessed. Yeah, well, we're in a minute, blessed. now. Because I actually have a charge. I could have squashed all of this. <laughs> now, Nella, I wasn't playing when I said I was going to bring greatness to the building, wasn't I? No, I wasn't. We have Jasmine Jobson here and Kadeem Ramsey. You lot know them. They're top boy, they're Netflix, they're everywhere, but they're here for us today. What was that like filming a show that has actually captivated not only the UK, but obviously the world as well? Uh, it was a dream come true, innit? Because I've always wanted to be on the show from the first one, so like. Mm. Maybe even up till now, I don't even understand what it's done. Like. There's days where I kind of wake up and I still kind of question, like, have I actually just landed a lead role? So what's it like when you do an audition, though? Like, is it very nerve-wracking? Right at the beginning of my career, it was definitely very nerve-wracking, and I think I kind of overthought how I would approach the audition. It's literally just about just being yourself turning that script into your own and then just kind of run with it, hence the chair in... The, my final audition for Top Boy. <laughs> Talk to us about that chair. I'm a person who has quite a fiery temper anyway. So when in this scene it says that, you know, Jack completely goes on a mad one, and I was like, how far do you want me to go with this? But next thing you know, the chair was went across the room. And then a few weeks later, I found out that I booked the job. But I honestly thought that I'd lost the job for that. How do you not let, like, outside stuff affect your role whilst you're in it? Honestly, every single day you come into work, whatever you've got, leave that yeah. at the door. But that's the thing, that's part of the game, you know what I'm saying? It's mm -hmm. not for the faint-hearted. What advice would you give to people that want to get into acting? First of all, know what you're getting into, and just know it's not something that will happen overnight. Mm -hmm. It's a journey, it's a process, you know what I'm saying? Be prepared to get a hundred no's and one yes. Mm. Like, I got down to the bottom two for X-Men, I got down to the bottom two for Star Wars, and I got down to the bottom two for Urban Hymn, and I lost three multi-million pound feature films in the same year. Yeah. Next thing you know, Top Boy came. Boom, yeah. it was my time. And that was the Lessons. job that I really, really wanted, because I've wanted that since I was a young girl. All right, guys, tell me exactly what we're going to be doing today. What we're going to do is a challenge. OK. Obviously, we're going to reenact a famous scene. A very, very famous scene. But before we do that, we need to go through a few things, you know what I'm saying? We need to talk. <laughs> Charles sits in patiently waiting for Scott as he has a deal to put forward after discovering Scott has been having an affair with his wife. Action. I've debated in my mind for quite some time about your affair with my wife, as it apparently turns out. There seems to be a passion between the both of you. Well, um, your assessment is correct, Charles. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> and are you both prepared to be together? I think we can manage. This feels on some cold team. <laughs> and that was amazing, bro. I Obviously, if it was really on set, yeah. the director would have blasted your head off. Yeah. Because he kept on breaking character, he kept on coming out and singing, he kept on yeah. laughing. Yeah, yeah. They don't have time for that. I mean, I feel like you could have done a little bit more. Actress Roma barges into her agent's office with force. 
She is tired of being the star of soap commercials and action. I can't even get a full sentence nowadays. What, am I not good enough for a full sentence at an audition? Babe, obviously you're upset. D upset? Angry. I'm <laughs> angry. Even... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, will you do this commercial? Because oh. they kind of need to know today. Yes. After this, I want something more. Less soap, more blood. Got it? <sighs> wow. She, this is why, this is why the BAFTA was nominated. <laughs> this is why the BAFTA. So how do you think you done? Is, is that right? Chill, man, yeah. calm down, you actually done well. Apart from the, the laughing, was actually listening to what she was saying and responding I'm back. responding. So you've done really well, yeah, man. Yeah, no, you did Should be proud of yourself. Ah, right, boom, challenge time. I got three script titles here in my hand. All y'all gotta do is pick one. I'm so nervous. Oh, no. Romeo and Juliet. Yes. yes! Pick up your scripts on the way out and we will see you tomorrow. <laughs> I don't know if you'll see me tomorrow. I'll pull up at your house. What do you mean? Oh, jazz, man. God. See you later. Good morning, guys. And how morning. are you? Good morning, today? morning. Are we prepared? Yes, have a good <laughs> sleep. I'm really nervous. I just don't want to freeze on stage and hopefully that doesn't happen. Yeah. Get you guys ready, and we will see you guys shortly. Ready like how, though? Like, what, are we going to be Let's, let's go. And you, you, OK, you'll sorry, Kadeem, sorry, because I keep out. asking a lot of questions. I'm saying all these questions. Yeah, it's too much, isn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. sorry, brother. Yeah. I didn't mean because I was just trying to see. <laughs> all right, cool. Three, two, one, and action. Romeo, Romeo, where for art thou, Romeo? Deny thy father and refuse thy name? And if thy wilt not, be but sworn, my love, and I'll no longer be a Capulet. Shall I hear more or, or speak at this? Hist, Romeo, hist, for a falconer's voice, bondage is hoarse and may not speak aloud. <laughs> Else would I tear the cave where Echo lies and make her airy tongue more hoarse than mine with repetition of my Romeo's name. It is my soul calls upon thy name. How silver sweet sound lovers' tongues by night, like softest music to attending ears. Romeo! My dear? At what o'clock tomorrow shall I send to thee? At the hour of nine. I will not fail. Tis twenty years till then. I have forgot why I did call thee back. Let me stand here till thou remember it. I shall forget to have thee still stand there, remembering how I love thy company. And I'll still say, to have thee forget, forgetting any other home but this. Tis almost morning, I would have thee gone. No. No further than a wanton's bird that lets it hop little from her hand, like a poor prisoner in his twisted guise, and with a silk thread plucks it back again. So loving, jealous of his liberty. I would I were thy bird. Sweet, so would I. Yet I should kill thee with much cherishing. Good night, good night. Parting is such sweet sorrow that I shall say good night till it is morrow. And cut. Never again. Ever. <laughs> So guys, we did it. How do you guys think we did? Oh, well, I'm impressed still. Yeah. Like you lot definitely listen still. Like yeah. I was taken to both you lot's expressions in this one. Oh, you should be proud of yourself. Thank you, man. So the award for the best actor of this episode goes to. Nella. Nelly. Nelly. Words? Oh my God! Um, I just want to thank my mama. I want to thank my dad. I want to thank um, everybody out in the hood. Thanks to my mentors. You know, I wouldn't have done it without y'all. <sighs> Fuming. Are you? Fuming. I do a lot of filming, do a lot of acting, and 
couldn't get it right today. For my talent, of course, it had to be awarded. Because, you know, as a Grammy... It's not Grammy, is it? It's an Oscar. But ah! listen, well done to you. You smashed it! You deserve it. Um, until the next one, I guess. Oh, yeah, and Taraji P. Henson, I'm coming for you. No. Even Beyonce, what was yeah. that performance that I was seeing okay, in Dream Girls? Boring. I'm, having, I'm like, coming so for your spot. Kiki Palmer. Do any of you guys have Grammy? No. Do any of you guys have Oscars? No, you don't. <laughs>